we're going. Yeah, doing a bit of a dodgy fix here. I literally had a hole in the joint of the flight there, so yeah. And I'm pretty much last minute. Um, grain truck turning up in about an hour, so yeah. Pop front bearing out, spending a bit more money over there. That'll be more cash. But yeah, we'll get this back together and then we'll start loading uh, grain trucks when they turn up. Yeah, just had a big tree here fall over in the summer. Uh, yeah, sort of made a bit of a mess actually. Sort of limbs everywhere. I think it got hit by lightning, I reckon. So yeah, I'm just going to chop it up. I'm not going to fully cut it into pieces, but I'm just going to cut it up into a little bit. So I don't know, eight, ten foot lengths. And I'm trying to get the stick rake up here. Um, yeah, see if I can push it over. I'll be over to that group of trees out there where I can't spray, and then in the winter I'll be able to cut it up. So just sort of cut it up into sections at the moment. Morning all. Uh, yeah, got a bit of furt coming today. Obviously you saw me and Maeve washing that uh, silo out yesterday. So yeah, had a truck come and clean the weed out of that, which was good. Um, so yeah, I don't know what time the truck's coming today, about one I think. So I'll set, uh, I went and borrowed one of my neighbor's shifters because I can't afford one, which is very nice of him to lend it to me. Uh, and it literally just reaches into here, so. Yeah, you gotta have it in like the perfect position to get it in. Uh, try and wash everything. Obviously you don't get everything. So, um. We'll uh, set that up and see how we go. Yeah. I've got to sort of like bend the spout back and everything, so I'll do a bit of a video of me trying to get it in there. Yeah, so that's her. Um, Charlene literally just fits. Uh, yeah, that ram's maxed out. And I've got to sort of like tilt the hood back, but she'll get in there. It'll go up, hopefully. It has in the past, so. Yeah, and hopefully old mate will get his truck in here. He should. So we'll find out, and that'll be all good. Yeah, so I've got this old little three-point linkage disc, which is pretty rooted. Um, this is really on it, but I don't really use it. I bought it. Don't know why. I think it's just for working around um, sort of paddocks before I harvested, just to put a little fire break above the fire. But I'm thinking we've got this old like 
on a shade toolbar looking thing that we ripped the tines off for our scarifier. So I'm thinking I might have a go at making us a, a um, wheel track renovator out of it. Just for mile tracks, which is 2.5 or 2.4 or whatever they are. So yeah, I was thinking about using the discs, mounting them on that, and mounting some sort of leveling bar at the back or something like that. So I'm going to give it a shot. I might be wasting my time and my money, but I don't think it's going to cost that much. But yeah, we'll have a go and see how we go. Um, yeah, so I've got, um, got these gangs of discs off the main, or the old linkage shaft, or frame. So now I'm just going to try and knock all the uh, old bearing housings off, undo these nuts on the ends, pull the discs off, and then, um, yeah, so I've sort of got to make, well, I've got two shafts now, I'd like to make four, so then I could have, um, yeah, four gangs of four plates. And sort of have uh, one cut one way and one the opposite way straight behind it and yeah hopefully you know, ain't going to be too much trouble i'm making uh, some table frames actually for a shop if you're starting a cafe or something so i said if you come and help me cut the steel and i'll weld it so yeah we've sort of whipped up oh i don't know there's 11 of them and he wants 12 some sort of we just two lengths of steel short little bits so he's going to get another couple of bits tomorrow and then we'll just um, yeah, finish, tack a few washers on there to screw the uh, top down on and he's going to paint it and do everything. So yeah, that's been, that took a couple of hours to do them so it wasn't too bad. And yeah, that's about it for the night I reckon. Had enough in here for one day. It's seven o'clock now, so. Righto, so where are we at? Um, yeah, got these tables done. Well, wow, the frames. Um, ended up making just a little jig. I don't know if I showed you last night, but I'll knock one down. And, yeah, just jigged it up and welded it all together. So it wasn't too bad. Had old mate here cutting it out, so that was good. So yeah, they're all done. Then I just tacked, tacked a little washer in the corner there so we can Put a screw up and screw his tabletop off. So best part is I don't have to paint it. I don't have to do any of that. Hey, we're all going. Uh, yeah, Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, Got to go get a square, oh square feed a bit of hay out to the sheep today. Um, and start doing a bit in the workshop, I think. I was going to go to the races. Uh, it's got a horse running, but... Um, yeah, Maeve's a bit... Yeah, the sorts. Like she didn't sleep very well last night. We were gonna go down as a family and get away for a couple of hours, but that's not happening now, so I'll do a bit, uh, get on the farm, catch up, because yeah, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow morning. I gotta go up to Manu, do a job up there for a bloke on a ute. Yeah, for his ute tray, fit a ute tray. Um, so that's sort of. Push me back at half a day at least because uh, shearing this week, shearing those weathers, which are in the feedlot. So we're, I've just got them in the feedlot now, actually. So take a bale of hay over to them and uh, yeah, get that all happening. Check the feeder over there. So I'll take a bit of footage over there. Uh, yeah, that's my plan today. Hey, folks, mate. Hey, folks. Yeah, so just over the feedlot here. Um, let's put this bale in. I might shut this gate. Oh, yeah. Right, mate, we're gonna shut the gate. 
There's no one you, you'll run over to the sheep and then you'll push them up this side of the fence. So yeah, I don't know what's in here, 220 or something. Um, just merino weather lambs. Uh, yeah, these are the ones I'm shearing on Wednesday. So I'm hoping I can, uh, yeah, shear them, shove them in here for six to eight weeks, put a bit on them and then, yeah, well, they're booked in on a contract. Cut. We're gonna cut the strings. Oop, ready? Cut strings. One, two, Eight, nine, six. Right, grab him. There you go. Over this side, mate. Daddy? No, you take this side, this side, this side here. Here you go. Grab all these. Oh, I can get it. Here you go. Here you go, Rupi. Grab it. Daddy. Yeah, you hold on to him. Yep. Pull, 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 pull. Pull. Oh, pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, there's a bit of straw in there. They're not too bad. I'll clean them out next week. That one's definitely full. Um, yeah, one of my mates makes these. Are you clean? I'll show you how they work, actually. I'll do a little demo. Um, they're really good. I could probably show you how it works on the way back. We'll clean it out. But, um, Rupert, we'll go check the, trough, um, the feeder. Come on. No, 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 <laughs> Thanks, we'll clone that one out. Um, yeah, that one's definitely cool. There's your other string. You hold that. You hold that. Okay. We'll pick that up. Right, we're going to check the feeder. Check the feeder? Yep. Your brother's got a really good feeder, actually. It's like a trickle feeder, so it comes out of a silo, but... I don't really have that set up, so I just bought a couple of these feeders and they're really, well, they seem pretty good for what I'm doing. Over here, mate. Come over here. We're checking the feeder. Not the sheep. Here. Yeah. Gonna open the door. Yeah, you hold that. Okay. I'll have to get these out. Don't oh. say Monday. I might bring them home, yeah, I'll bring them over Tuesday. Right, mate, let's go. Oh, I built this feedlot probably two, two years. Oh, no, it would have been last year, early last year. Oh, no, maybe two, no, it was two years ago. Um, just to sort of containment so I can, uh, so I could fresh up a few paddocks, but yeah, I've never really done much feedlotting of sheep or anything, so I need more shade here. It does get shade in the afternoon, which ain't too bad, but yeah. But no, I'll do a little time lapse on these things. Um, they work pretty well. They're sort of on a hinge. So you just pull the lever there and she fully rotates. You just tip it out and then you can give it a good scrub. And no, it works really well. So I'll do a little demo on it. My mate makes them up in Manu. Um, yeah, he sells a fair few of them, I think. Him and a, another bloke sort of sat down, a shearer actually. They sat down and thought well what's an easy way of cleaning out troughs and this was it so yeah I'll do a little demo on it yeah that's sort of how you do it yeah so then you gotta sort of clean trough um seems to work out pretty well actually I think I might clean the other one because that's stinky but yeah as you can see Rupert's taking his string for a walk so who knows what's going on there Hey Rupert, we're gonna clean this one too. So yeah, we'll do a little video on that as well. I think this one dumps the right one. I think.
Ready? Oh. Alright. That's good. They're both cleaned up. Right, grab your string. Let's go. We'll go back and get the grain feed of the thing now. And... That'll be right. You coming? Oh, you left the string. Mate. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Yeah, just out um, still feeding sheep. Sunday. That's what we do. Uh, yeah, so I'm just starting to fill, fill the feeders now. Um, start lambing him probably, oh, I reckon I'll be a, two weeks, sort of, yeah, mid-April. So I'm probably a good two or three weeks away yet. So I'm just going to fill a couple of feeders, get him used to it. Get them onto it. Um, yeah, sheep are looking pretty good actually. These are me young, young ewes here, red tag ones. So, yeah. Um, joined up, scanned in lamb. So, yeah, hopefully we get a good result. Uh, I've got to get them in. They're coming in this week to get needled. Um, so, yeah, just like a pre lamb needle um, or vaccine. Um, yeah, we've got these old Bromar feeders. Got a couple of these old things and I've got a few advantage ones and yeah, got got a fair old mixed bag. I think they're all much much as solid. These ones are old, I bought them second hand. As you can tell, they're a bit beat up. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, I don't know, I've, I've only got the sort of lambing ewes that are on the feeders now. So I'll give them a, give them a start, get them used to it. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes down. Gotta go home now, get a bit of workshop. Yes, yeah, so I went to town the other day, I'm gonna sort of bought, bought a few parts off a of bloke over there that does a kit sort of form for these um, fire lot of things, so. Yeah, you're gonna have the obviously the LPG that'll ignite the the fuel dripper line or the fuel line. So then we can just like sort of mount one on the back of the Ute instead of having the handheld ones. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start making up a little frame for that and uh, yeah, see how we go. Yeah, so I've sort of been working on this, um, working on uh, this track renovator that I'm making out of an old three point leakage disc that I've had and. Yeah, sort of. It's just going to be a sort of one, one way thing. I was going to uh, go four discs one way, I'll have them cutting one way and then cut the other. But for what I do, I think this will be fine. I'm going to give it a shot at any rate, because this is a lot easier instead of having to make up a whole new. Uh, disc carrier, like the whole sort of thing. I'm just going to reuse what I've got here. A few U-bolts, bolder on. Um, yeah, just we had this in the tip. So I'm literally making it out of scrap. Trying to, yeah, make a big jam out of pig shit, really. But, uh, no, nah, we'll get there. I think it'll work. And then, yeah, we're working on this as well at the same time. Just a fire lighter for myself. Um... Yeah, it looks a fine one though, look. Only two and a half grand, so I thought, well, why can't I make one? But turns out the parts were nearly a thousand bucks, so. But we've got them now. I'll make it up and, yeah. Gonna go hook the truck on now. I've gotta go cart some lambs from over the back. Um, yeah, hopefully the old man is gonna come and give me a hand, because I've got no dog at the moment. Um, because Sid got ran over. Um, and he's got a broken leg. Uh, that was a week and a half ago now. So he's, he's sort of been laid up now. So, which is annoying. So yeah, I've got to give Kip a go. So hopefully dad will come over and I can take the new dog over there and um, give him a run. 
and that way I can have the old man there as well sort of uh, help me take him home if I had to or lock him up at least um, see how we go yeah I've only got 250 odd to bring over so I won't be too bad put this crate on and yeah make it happen it's shearing tomorrow so oh yeah we all go yes yeah, so I got these uh, lambs loaded now I was gonna tip them off <coughs> um, yeah, tip them off for shearing tomorrow, so I'll uh, set up my sweet yards. Oh, that don't work very well. Oh. One day I'll get a new set. Um, but these will pretty much go straight in the shed. So, shearing tomorrow. So I'll just, uh, hopefully they'll run off easily. Got no dog. But we'll see how we go.